Weebly Free Website Tutorial 2023 for Beginners. Hello and welcome. Today, we're excited to bring you a tutorial on how to create your own website using Weebly's Free Website Builder. If you're a beginner looking to build a website for your business or personal brand, Weebly is an excellent choice that is both user-friendly and affordable. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of creating a website using Weebly. From choosing a template to customizing your content and launching your website. We'll show you how to use Weebly's drag and drop interface to easily add text, image, and other content to your website. Whether you're looking to create a simple blog or a full-featured e-commerce website, this tutorial is for you. So let's dive right in and learn how to use Weebly to build a beautiful and functioning website that represents your brand. So let's get started. Now over here right now, I am currently on the Weebly website. And over here on this page, I am currently selecting a theme for the website that we are going to create. As you can see here also, we have different categories such as for business, which are the different templates that we are seeing right now. Portfolio, personal, event, blog, this coming soon options over here, and other options over here. Depending on what type of website you're going to create, you're going to choose them accordingly to this different templates that we have. For example, we're going to go with portfolio. I'm going to choose this template over here. And as you can see, we have a theme preview of this current website. Uh, this is what it would look like. And right now, we're going to click on start editing over here on the top right so that we would be able to start editing this website over here. Now, by clicking this, we would be redirected to the editing page of Weebly. Now, as you can see, this is the editing page of Weebly over here on the top. You can see that we could choose from build, pages, themes, apps, settings, and help. You could also upgrade your plan so that you would be able to access more features later on. Now, over here, we're first going to enter our domain name. If you already have a domain, you can simply connect it and transfer it now with Weebly. As you can see here, you could choose from the different domains over here. You could buy any of this domain. Uh, for now, we're not going to deal with our domain, so we're going to exit that. As you can see, this is the page that we saw earlier. This is what we are going to be editing. I'm going to give you a quick tour before we start. Over here on the left side, we could see all the different basic elements that we could add into our website over here. As you can see here, we have our title, text, image, gallery, slideshow, map, contact form to receive contacts and information, newsletter form, button, and embedded code over here. You could also have structures like sections, dividers, and spacers over here. You could add media like HD video and audio, which would need an upgraded plan for you to access them. You could have script documents over here, YouTube section, flash, and files over here. You could also have e-commerce like product and categories over here. If you want to turn your website to an e-commerce website, you could also add search box, block quotes, social icons, RSVP form, survey, Google AdSense, cookie output, and stuff. You could also add apps over here. You could add apps by clicking this. By clicking that button, you would be able to see all the different apps created for Weebly to use as an additional feature for their website. As you can see here, we have our popular, highest rating, new, and free over here. You could also check out the different categories like apps for e-commerce, communication, marketing, social, and site and tools over here. Now we're going to go back for the meantime. Now over here on our screen, as you can see, when I hover over the different section of our page, you're going to see some sort of a box surrounding that specific element, meaning that you would be able to edit those specific parts. For example, this section over here, I could click this and I would be able, be able to edit this information and turn it into an information that I want to see. Just like that. And you could highlight all of this. You could turn this to bold. You could italize this. You could underline this and stuff like that. You could also add a link to this by clicking on create link and you would be able to redirect it to either another website another page of your website, the product page, blog page, phone, file, and email over here, depending on what you would like. And you could also link your email just like here. And so that when they click on the specific heading, they would be redirected or receive information depending on what you chose in the section over here. You could also change the alignment from left, left aligned, centered, right aligned, and justified over here. You could also change the color of your font by choosing these options over here. 
Now we're here on the top part. As we can see, we have a spacer here. We could delete the spacer by clicking this. By clicking this, you would be able to see this X over here on the top right. You can simply click on the X section. And you would be able to delete that specific section added to the page. As you can see here, it's loading so that it is fixing our page. And as you can see, our Hi, I am Sama Sarah Smith, a creative director, is now on the top section. Now we could drag and drop this to resize this. We could make this entire part top part smaller just like that and as you can see we have edited our page you could also edit the image by clicking on the image you could either click on edit image you would be able to edit the pre-existing image on the website or you could also add another photo from your library or your desktop as you can see here this is what i was talking about earlier this is how you would be able to edit the photo you could either crop it add filters adjust add text or change the focus over here now you could also replace the image like I said earlier. You could also link this to another page, maybe a blog post over here. And you could search it over here. As you can see, I don't have a blog post yet. And we're going to go back for now. And you are able to do what I just did to every single part of this website that we are seeing right now. You're going to customize this depending on how you would like it. Depending on the different images that you would like to have, the different information, stuff like that. Now if you want to add elements of for example, we're going to add a text over here. You're simply going to drag it into the page and we could add it over here maybe. And as you can see, we're going to have a text beside our message over here. You could also add another image or a gallery. We're going to add a gallery in the middle maybe. And as you can see, we can simply upload our image over here. You could drag gallery post or upload image from your computer. As you can see now, we have three columns right here. You can delete the specific columns if you don't like this column and if you don't like this col column anymore. As you can see, it's very easy to add and drop different elements. Just simply go ahead to select the elements that you would like to have and then drag it into your screen. You can also add a search box if you want. By doing this, you would be able to have a search box on your website. And you could also change the text over here. Maybe look or something just like that and it's going to text the text inside the button over here you could also edit the spacing the margin the align as you can see right now it is left aligned you could turn it and put it in the middle just like that and then turn it to the right just like that you could also add and edit buttons by clicking on the button over here you could change the style of the button you could change it to a solid color a white color a transparent color stuff like that depending on what you would like. You can also edit the link over here, the spacing over here, and other sections as well. Now you could also click on pages over here on the top and you would be able to see all the different pages available which is work, about, and contract over here. You could add more and it will automatically add to your navigation bar. Just like this, we're going to add a standard page, say testing, just like that. And as you can see here, it's going to have a new page on our website over here. And you could edit this page completely the same way we did with the way we did earlier. We're going to click on done for now. And as you can see here, our testing is now available on our navigation bar. You could also click on themes over here and you would be able to change your themes from light to dark over here. You could change your themes, change fonts, and change the different theme options. Now it is completely up to you on how you would like to build your website. It depends on your creativity and your content and that's basically it guys that's how you can create websites using Wibly you can simply publish it over here and you could add your domain over here and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching